Hello YouTube, this is the Destroy MC server and I'm Elder Chart. I've been playing here since January and I have been involved in a few projects. Fool's Watch, Starter Base, which is where I spent most of the time on the server. And I've basically finished it except for a little bit on the interior. I think I did a good job. I got How Did We Get Here. Uh, it's a not a huge time sink, but it's a major accomplishment. It's something I'd never done. And I became the biggest griefer on the server with zero bases destroyed, zero player kills, and one holes dug. I could make a video about all these things, and I might because I recorded a lot of footage in the process of doing them. But there's something special that I've done recently, and it's why I'm here before you. Now, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers make videos and Let's Plays and stuff, which always draws a lot of attention to their bases. And I thought, no harm in that, so I would do the same thing uh, because I'm about to start a new base. I just decided to move a few blocks away from spawn though, and I finally found the perfect location. So there's this huge ocean here, and as you can see, it just stretches for hundreds of blocks, and I think it'd be a great place to build a base. Uh, as you can see from my cords, it was a bit of a trick, but of course, it's just a great place, and I think I can transform it from this watery mess into huge mega base custom uh, I want to make a custom biome with beautiful towers mountains I have great plans but I'm not gonna spoil them all right now uh, of course this is just my first episode after all but even though I have a lot of stuff from playing on here previously uh, even this OP crossbow that you can get in just vanilla Minecraft Building a mega base is going to take a lot more than what I have here. This is all really just to help me get started, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up basically a base camp. This is just an area a couple thousand blocks away, and I'll just get something to start working with, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so here I got a small base camp built up, and this is just going to make it a lot easier to store things and get them ready to start working on my mega base. But there's just one problem. I'm very far away from spawn, and while I could just walk there, it's a little bit further than it's convenient. Fortunately, I have a plan to get around this. Uh, it's just going to basically require two things. This guy, and these things. Now, when you usually throw an ender pearl, it stores which player threw it and basically just remembers that so that when it hits something, it can teleport you to it. But what doesn't matter is when the pearl is thrown. So if we could somehow figure out how to keep the pearl in the air, well, there's some glitching, but we can keep the pearl in the air after we throw it, and we could basically summon ourselves back to it whenever we want. And that's what I plan to build up next. So this is all of the stuff that it really takes to make one of these. Uh, and I'm just going to get started building one here.
Okay, and now it is working. I guess it's not fully reliable to try and start it up, but once the pearl is there, nothing will be able to stop it, except for one problem, and that is if we unload these chunks. So if we log out and log back in, usually it will work, but sometimes it'll mess up. And what especially is concerning is if we leave the area and come back again. There it's fine. There. Still fine. But if we did that enough times, there would be a problem and the pearl might glitch through the blocks and hit the ground. However, that shouldn't be an issue because while I'm at spawn, this place shouldn't be receiving much traffic in terms of players, so hopefully it'll be fine. But just to make absolutely sure that nothing can go wrong, I'm going to build these devices up again, two here and a couple in the nether, so that no matter what happens, I'll be able to come back because I am very lazy and I don't want to walk all that way again. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, I've mined above it a little bit more, and hopefully this will be enough for it to properly function. So if we just press this, and another pearl. And yes, now it will work. All right, and that gets us four ender pearl stasis chambers, which should be enough that nothing can go wrong. And I was going to record a clip of me teleporting back, but as soon as I logged in with my other account, I actually just appeared here, so you're going to have to believe me that this thing does teleport you to it. Now, I've handled how we're going to get back here once we go to spawn, but I haven't really talked about how we're going to go to spawn. Fortunately, that's an easier task. All I've got to do is make myself one of these, place it down, and then if we break it and then die, we're going to respawn all the way back at spawn. Now, of course, that means that the only items I'll be able to take back to spawn is anything that I put in my ender chest. So I'll just put a couple stacks of blocks and some food for now. Save everything else I've got in my inventory. And I think it's time for me to go back to spawn. Oh. And like I was saying, it's now time for me to go to spawn. So if I click on this bed, it should normally set my spawn point to that, but actually I can't do that because I have this insomnia hack activated. So now I have established my spawn point, I've broken it, and it is time. It's been a long time since I was at spawn. It'll be interesting to see how it's changed. So, got my pearl there. This is the account that threw the pearl. And so, we should be fine to just go. And here we are at spawn. Uh, so, there's something I haven't talked about yet, but really need to, and that is uh, that DestroyMC is a anarchy server, which means that griefing is allowed, lag machines are allowed, wither spam is everywhere, except here apparently, and of course hacking is allowed, so here I have the WWE client. And I will be hacking on DestroyMC, but Something I haven't really discussed yet, but want to, is that uh, I won't be using WWE as I continue because the server's updating to 1.16 tomorrow. What I will be using is the Eldritch client, which is a client that I myself am developing. I wonder what these guys are doing. Anyway. 
I will be using my own client, but I won't be using any others once 1.16 comes. And that's all I really wanted to say about hacking. I will be doing it, but I will be using my own client, which will be hopefully unique for YouTube. I don't know of anyone else who's doing that. And definitely an experience because I'm so used to using some of WWE's features, but it'll be interesting for me to try to add them to my own client as well. And I realized that something else I should probably do is show that I am able to bring myself back to the world border because it would be a shame if that was not actually the case. So I'm just bringing up my alt. Okay, so something unexpected happened. Uh, somehow the pearl wasn't here, but that's okay. I will fly out to one of the other ones that I constructed. This is why you add redundancies because it would be I've joked about just being a short walk that I'm just lazy and skipping but it actually took a long time to get here so it would be very unfortunate if I were to lose that here we are there's the pearls okay my gosh Either account is fine. So push that, and there he is. Okay, so thank you for watching, and goodbye.